What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? This is Muscle, and this is another Two Line Music Huts Entertainment Report podcast. And today, we have a really special guest in the building. Listen, you don't really, you know, as a matter of fact, you've never seen this man on an interview. Listen, this man owns one of those big, heavy songs from in the 90s until right now. You've seen him on a lot of clashes, and then you've seen him on a lot of juggling. You know, we have in the building today, we have Father Cat from Cataract in the building today. What's going on, Big Bob? Yeah, man, big up yourself, man. You know, massive, massive things you see. Thank you so much for coming over here on the Entertainment Report podcast today. Yeah, man. All right. I know we're here under not great circumstances, but we'll get into that for a bit. But again, thank you so much for actually sharing the story right here on the Entertainment Report podcast. Yeah, man, willing, willing. All right. So what we like to do, we like to go right from the beginning and then bring it right up to 2022. So my first question for you is this. What part of Jamaica did you grow up in? Well, you know, my boy in a town, but my boy country and my liquor boy right? mm-hmm. with my mother. So we grew up in Chilani for like a couple of years. Yeah, a place named Spring Garden in Chilani, you know. We are in the back of the country, you see yeah, what was Chilani like back then growing up in Chilani? Well, you see, Chilani was sweet and nice still. Because a lot of activity, food, everything where you want, water, river, you know? So it was good. You know, all the things that you have to work hard for what you want when you're in the country. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you said growing up back then in the country, it wasn't easy. It was you had to really work for what you wanted back then. Right. And my grandmother and my grandfather, you know, you have to work. Them, them have a thing say, if you don't work, you don't eat. You know? Yeah, so she, she start off from with small. Make sure, you know, plant your little yam, your little stuff as a little youth. You know? So my, my, my first pants that I bought, you know, is out of my little yam that I did when I was like eight, seven, eight year old. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know? Yeah, so it was it was nice until we move we move at a place called Warsop Chilani. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you know here about Warsop Chilani. No, is that close to Bunkers Hill? Bunkers Hill, where no. Bunkers is close to Falmouth. Yeah, no, that's we top Chilani. That's close to Albert Town. Got you. Albert Town, what is um and then it close to Try and Manchester. Mm-hmm. Because you can stay at Warsaw, look over and Manchester and the border right there. Shudley, Craighead, and all them places. Got you. And back then, what did you think you were going to, did you think you were going to get into entertainment or what did you think you were going to get into back then? You know, say, <laughs> it's so funny when we was in the country, they have a song known as the country called Prince Philip. The man used to go for uh, farm work. So we used to, leave the house at night time and go where the sun keep and cook white rice and try for dj <laughs> you know so <laughs> every night there we would missing just follow the sound round in the area with them play and try for dj you know mm-hmm. yeah then um nitty gritty nitty gritty because we are nitty gritty from the same place too and nitty gritty was in the country we come back at town Left our town, come back a country, and down there with the mash it and thing a weed yam. Okay. Yeah, so nitty gritty used to down there too. Them time there. Yeah. Yeah, man. Okay, in Trelawney at that time there. So then now you were just fooling around with the song and stuff. So you thought you were actually going to be a DJ at this time here? Nah, just playing around. Playing around. Playing around. Yeah, so not DJ. I was a uh, I, I was doing welding at the time when I when I was doing the little DJ thing, you know, build bars and stuff like that. So I know I was gonna become a welder <laughs> for yeah. sure. And even back then, what sounds did you like to listen to, or even DJs did you like back then? Um, it's a song from from Chilani from Falmouth. Um, we're Lick Willie. What, what's that song called again? Yeah, Jesus. Mm-hmm. I don't really remember, but it come from Falmouth Chilani. And then my next song come from 
I think Spanish town named Sumalaps. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's on, you know, one tube, one hands, big tube hands. Yes. <laughs> As he used to come to country all the time, come play at a place called Bobby Yuta Land. Yeah, so that sounded, I did like that song. And the one from Falmouth. All right. Now, what artists, what yeah. artists were you listening to back then? Um, me and Fuzzy Jones, you know. Fuzzy Jones, a cousin, you know. Yeah, mm -hmm. and Fuzzy Zone. My brother in Canada now is um, my brother is Fuzzy Jones' uncle and um, brother, father. You know, so you see most of the thing you in at the back and just relax and <laughs> make people talk. You know, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah, man, me and Fuzzy Jones are family, man. Mm -hmm. And who else were you listening to back then? Also, um. Um, Jalov. Mm -hmm. Yes, Jalov. Because Jalov used to come a country too. Right. And then, back in the days, it, it was another song come to Chilani come play. Especially cricket. When we used to have a big cricket team in Chilani in Warsaw. So most of the holiday, you know, most of them, they used to come down every cricket. Then come down, come play, they dance them and stuff with the cricket team. So we just used to listen to them things until I think in the my first reggae sun splash was oh well, in the 80s, 80s or 80, 79 or 80, something like that. The first reggae sun splash that keep in Montego Bay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that I was I was at that work little boy, because my stepdad bring me there as a little boy. That that was the first reggae sun splash. Yeah. So you were surrounded by music for a long time now. Then. A long time. Because my some of my cousin them them, them was twelve tribe by Israel. You understand? So what happened? They used to have a thing where them keep in the community center at night time. You know, so when election come, it's like um them want the center to keep party like politics party and the rasta man them said no we're not gonna do that we're not mix up in the politics so them going at the center shoot up the center and kill all the rasta man there that was one of them was fuzzy jones brother you understand? Mm -hmm. yeah so enough enough history still you know no, definitely, because I didn't even know anything like that before. But that's why I like to have these conversations, because somebody always knows something that you don't know. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Enough of them, you know, enough things happen. So that's why Fuzzy move move to town. The man in brother and in cousin Ralph and Shooter, they move to town. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Got you. Okay, okay. so you're... 70, 70... 80 that was 80 or 79 election mm -hmm. yeah uh -huh. that was where it was happening okay so then you're you're around the song and stuff so then now when did you actually migrate to the states no no after that now while i was in the country i i moved back from country now and go to old mm. you know carry we have a, we have a oh, um, um we call it hotel but it's a motel a, a motel called Chris Motel. You understand? So that's where I spend most of my time now, you know? Mm -hmm. And then from there to Grand Cayman. And okay. then from Grand Cayman to the US. Yeah. So even at Old Harbor, was that when Super D was around at that time there? Yeah, man. Uh, Nutsy, uh, Nutsy used to come sleep upstairs. And because <laughs> what, what happened now is like we own the hotel, right? Mm hmm. But at the same time, we now sell the hotel to Playmate them. You know, Playmate from Whitehall Avenue, Kitty them and everybody got them, my mm. like family too, you know. Yeah. So I was there for a little while with them, see, and we're helping them out, you know. We was running the business for them at the same time. So we used to have a thing every Thursday night, every song complete, different, different song complete at Thursday night time. Mm -hmm. You know, like Spinner's Choice, 4x4, Exodus, Bodyguard, um super d nazi used to come down um long story them 
But um, from Exodus, nuclear. nuclear. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so you know, that's a big stretch, man. A big stretch, you know. So, don't tell the other day, I talk to Kitty them and stuff like that. Can we keep the links here? Mm-hmm. Is it Kitty that they used to play creation also? No, Kitty them is the one that won't play me yet mm-hmm. from Whitehall Avenue, mm-hmm. right across from Jaro Studio. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so is that the same playmate that used to play a lot of Super Cat at one time? Yeah, man, Super Cat so that man. Mm-hmm. Super Cat man, me all of the dance where they kill where 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 where, where Kitty where play me kill um um Jaro Spanish town out of the big land there with Super mm-hmm. Cat. Me they are the dance all of we go the dance. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, man. So from back then, you were soaking up the sound system business from back then. Everything, everything. And then um, when Sasa Frost, them and Papa San and the whole of the man, them Chilla you and everybody was um, they was doing the the, the uh, modeling thing up at Glendon Court in Old Harbor mm-hmm. upstairs. So most of the man them used to stay by our place, you know. It was fun, man. It was a lot of fun. Lot of fun. Mm-hmm. I mean, he used to be the chef at the same time. <laughs> okay, so chef is something that you've liked for a very long time. Yeah, from okay. the, yeah, can we go a couple of, uh, um, uh, um, where we call if you go in a spallings, man, between you know, we're a couple of the, the training center. Yeah, we go there, Sophia, look away. Okay, all right. So mm-hmm. you're doing your stuff. So you said you went to Grand Cayman and then you came to the States from there, right. Okay. When you came to the States, did you have any intentions on doing anything with sound system or mm-hmm. entertainment or anything? No, no sound. No, no idea about no sound. Mm-hmm. Nothing. We just go at two party and stuff, but just work, strictly work at that time. Mm-hmm. You know? See him welding, come up far in the same welding, me the same way. Working on some big company and yeah. From there. So then now, when did the idea of cataract now actually come to mind? Yeah, really. All the sound coming in now is like my friend of name Lassell. He have a birthday party. So the birthday party was I fashioned them from Canada. Mm-hmm. Supposed to come play at the party. So when we come to Milwaukee, you know, one blood sound was the sound with Milwaukee. Mm-hmm. Kill off the sound them down at Chicago, you know. Them was the champion sound then. Mm-hmm. Put it away the cause every sound come then kill them off. What Chicago I same thing, you know. Mm-hmm. So, so anyway, when I fashion them, you would come from Canada now and come up the Friday. So we did a rain for them play upon one blood sound. Mm-hmm. So them say one of the youth upon one blood now said. Him now make last sell them and nobody play upon their song. So them block the man from go upon the song. So because me, you know, me and my friend, him, you know, me say, him promote the party and everything. And him look sad because him don't know what to do no more. No song, no defeat. Mm-hmm. You know? So me just say, all right, one on the man. Me know a man have a little song and he may not talk to me and say, him I go sell the song. So anyway, I call a youth, a youth named Kenny. I ask him, say, if him van a work, you know, and him say yes, and him say yes. So anyway, we go over Eugene house, and that was the Saturday, you know, in the day, you know, and the party is the night. Mm-hmm. So me say, Father, why am you still a sell the sound? And him I say, Yeah, man. Mm-hmm. So me say, How much you say you want feet again? Him say you want sixteen thousand. Mm-hmm. So me say, Damn man, sixteen thousand, give me a better deal, man. Mm-hmm. Come want the sound, you know. And he must have said, No, man, 16,000 else in our move out of the house. You understand? Some say, All right, forget it. Mm-hmm. So, bam, 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 16 grand. He tell him, he tell him, I want the record, them too. He said, No, I'm going to keep the record. He said, No, I'm not buy the sound unless you give me the 45 and the LP, them coming out have no music. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So I said, I have no music. So anyway, give me some money and keep back some special one when I want. So I said, all right, fair enough, keep them one there. Mm-hmm. And then he come at the club the night and string up the sound himself. And then when one bloody youth them walk in and see the sound, now they might be like, oh, wait, wait. So a man wink them and say, I can't buy the sound, you know. Yeah. You understand? 
I know me get this name now because me talk about super cat all the while when me come from friend, me just talk about super cat, super cat. And I said, we get this DJ that. That's mm-hmm. too. When we did all of a super cat, we used to do around we and the wall, we used to very, very, very. So they said, no, nah, I'm a boss man, that's a super cat man. So I you name Scabba now, give me name, say, yo, what that man? The talk mm-hmm. about cat too much, but he's a cat man. So I saw me get my name, name cat. You understand, but my real name is Patrick Hudson. Got you. Yeah. So then you said you always talk about cats, so then that's why you decided to name this song Cataract. Cataract. So anyway, you now, when we play that Friday night, that Saturday night, you now at the birthday party, mm-hmm. so we did supposed to take out the song out of the club. Mm-hmm. So Basil said, nah, because it was close to December, New Year's Eve will come. Mm-hmm. So them said they want a clash. You understand? Mm-hmm. So we have said, but we can't clash one blood zone. We don't have no doublet. <laughs> but we have got clash as own without doublet. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So anyway, Cliff said to me, said, why? You better we call Quincy. So we said, all right. So we call Quincy and tell Quincy, say, we want some tune. Mm-hmm. We want some 45, we want some LP and them thing there. You know, and who more double thing can get and my brother now was um um Jesus um Bonnie General. Okay. Bonnie General was my brother now. So me he tell Quincy if tell Bonnie and tell him to give me two two next. Yeah. So we send some money, go give Bonnie and tell Quincy if you look some more DJ and then we get a ninja man and we get four ninja man. We get um some um papa son and you know couple tune we get some 17 double plate in a short period right out of december then we get only 17. okay but well, not even you know, before that how did you meet quincy in the first place or how did you even know of quincy you see i know quincy from jamaica mm-hmm. because i was the first one bring road star in world Harbor. okay Outta, outta got us behind a, a funeral parlor that's where road star play, but them never know. See how we bring keep the dance there. I mean, it was a little youth them time. Mm-hmm. You know? At three, I think that three, three or four hundred dollars. We pay us, we pay them for it. Mm. Mm. Sorry, sorry about that. No, no problem. But anyway, I think either three or five hundred dollars we pay for the, the party. Three away, and now we keep the dance out there. Out there, out there. Oh. So you knew Quincy, that's how you originally yeah, met Quincy, Quincy was from Roadshare. Behind, behind he and them, them time. So Nuffman didn't know I know Quincy until we start, people start, you know, and, and me, I said, no, man, Quincy was a little youth behind he and down there dance. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's crazy there. All right. So long, okay. so long me know Quincy. Mm-hmm. You know? Because from you say Ian, Ian is a legend when it comes to Roadstar. That was the man. And then after Ian, it was Quincy that took it over after that. Yeah, man. Because Roadstar used to come from play down so on Thursday night too. And then one at a time now, Roadstar become the champion sound for World Harbor. Mm-hmm. If, I, if I'm not telling a story, I think Roadstar was playing more in World Harbor than anywhere else in, in, in Jamaica. Okay. Because house party, a road star. Big dance, road star. You know, no matter what sound come to old Arbor, road star have to be there. Mm-hmm. You understand? Yeah, so it's a long way upon them things there, you know? You understand. So then, okay, so then now, that's how you met Quincy. Quincy got to tune them. You guys had 17 dubs, you guys said. Where did the sound cataract? Yes, 17 dub plates. Mm-hmm. So... I'm going to give you a better joke than that. <laughs> so when before, Nazi used to come by the house all the while. Mm-hmm. So when Nazi come now, Nazi come at the house, only three double plates sit on the table. Mm. So Nazi know those three double plates. You understand? Mm-hmm. So when we go to the dance now, Nazi said we don't have no tune because he know the tune them. But we already did have those double plates I didn't have the drop. Mm-hmm. You know? He just see what he see. You understand? You know, so we end up kill one blood that night. You know, cause them them they make we know say any sound win, mm-hmm. stay in at the club. The man will lose if it put on him water boot and come out in at the snow. Yeah. 
<laughs> you understand? <laughs> but that never happened anyway. We just have the two sound in their play and just back against one another, man through a word and for a whole year till the next clash, till New Year's Eve, the next New Year's Eve, that's when the buckle go down. Okay. You know, that's when not sit, that's when one blood send for Byron. <laughs> yes. Yes. So Byron and Nutsy take we on in the night. And we kill both of them again. And who was playing Keterak at this time here now? Quincy, Quincy. Okay, so he you you sent him to go cut the, you asked him to go cut the music and then you guys brought him up to come play the song. To come play the song for New Year's Eve. Okay, so he was still playing Roadstar at this time, and then you guys yeah, just brought him up to play Ketter. Down in Jamaica. So after that, now we tell him, say, if he want the sound, we'll build a sound at Jamaica and give it. Mm -hmm. And that's when he come and just come over and, you know, spend his six, five months and then go back home, come back, spending five months or spending a couple of weeks and play all over, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because you're saying One Blood was the big song in Milwaukee at this time right. here when you guys right. came around. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That it was there was the, the, the thing, you know, the champion, you know. Yeah. Yeah, man. But then you guys had to fix things. Yeah, so we come and take over the thing and it wasn't a nice run yeah. at the same time, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. But we never fight like fist fight nor no nothing like that, you know? Mm -hmm. That's when the man them are still iron, you see? Yeah. Yeah. Because what's the dancehall scene like in Milwaukee? You know, when I come to Milwaukee and um, I come here, what, 19, uh, uh, oh, again, 89 or 90, one of them, one of them here. Mm -hmm. And um, the dancehall wasn't too, too big. Mm -hmm. It was just like... You know, a couple of people and where, but when we start the ball of the road now, the club start have line from out of door from 10 o'clock, 9 o'clock, the line come from downstairs, people can't get forget in the club. Because mm -hmm. it was um, a Chinese lady and a Chinese man who owned the club, Jamaicans. So it start pack so much that we are make five, six thousand dollars a night at the door. You understand? And it was uh, not a big, big, you know. It's our upstairs place. Mm -hmm. So that's how that started. You know? Pro proper. So you guys are now, you guys are now the big song around it because I know One Blood used to go to Jamaica a lot too. So I guess now you guys are playing Milwaukee. Are you guys now playing around the States also at this time here now? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Because um, um, Quincy Nevio mm -hmm. have a part of the song in Florida. I'm of the two of them where in go, go, in go play. In go Alaska. You know, in play in New York, in come and play up here and stuff. But when Corona come now, most of the party them have a lockdown. I have some, him did have some date in um, Chicago, in they have date at Texas, Atlanta. So everything just did crash. So now him just a push out back, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And get it going from there. All right. In play in Florida almost every weekend, two, three nights almost every week. That's cataract. He, yeah, he play at different places. Plus, him have him, him film like a thing on the side when the two, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Keep it moving. All right, so then when did you guys decide now, now it's time to actually build this song in Jamaica? What year was that? Um, I think it's... Really, we start going to Jamaica in 1990s, a year after, 96. 96, we start going to Jamaica. Mm -hmm. As we keep a dance... A Linstead, the Linstead are bag walk, a big land down there. I think it's Linstead. That, that was almost what, 20 some years ago or something like that. Mm -hmm. In Linstead. Mm -hmm. So it was impression and, and cataract and um and um yes, that is. Mm, okay. You know, impression from Spanish tongue. Well, right? Spanish tongue, yeah, man. Jazzy yeah. Jeff and those guys played that song. Right. So that dance was impression and and be a so when we in the dance now it's like the two the two selector them and the two sound is like impression on them them like family mm -hmm. so it's like them gang we up in the party you know you understand mm -hmm. so i mean this party was like like a big stadium like a stage show keeping it to it back mm -hmm. kind of that party that we end up make like i, I think over one point something million in them days eh, at the door and and the lick, lick and everything. 
yeah, that party was a party, not not no liquor party. It was a party. Mm -hmm. You understand? So anyway, when we at that party you now, it's like them draw a tune and say, true we young, and we's a young son, but them doesn't know nothing about the sound. That's the problem. Mm -hmm. Most of the sound them in Jamaica never know nothing about the sound and never know the tune them and never know what we have. Mm -hmm. You understand? So them draw a tune um, in the dance and say, I bet cataract never find it because we are baby sound. We are like a foreign boy and you know them hungry, you know, speech wise and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So anyway, before them done the, 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 the tune, them say, if Cataract find this, we lock off his own and up here for his own no more. So we just draw the tune before them done talk mm. and kill the two sound one time. Yeah, we draw the tune and kill the two sound one time. He's one of them old artists, you know. I think uh, um, um, Bob and D, I think it was Bob and D or something like that. Okay. So we draw the tune on them and kill both sound one time. And that's where you guys really started to get your bubble in Jamaica. Right. You know? And then we start keep keep some party and keep some party back bar inside. Then them used to have a big thing um up a um Darlington Drive up a tobacco factory where I you name Will um my name is Louis used to keep both the play for them and mm -hmm. you know just pass through then we Go back across and play for, I think we are Swash. I forgot what them name, another big sound from town. Mm -hmm. We play and then come back a foreign. And from that now, we have the, I think we have a, we have a clash with um, Jaro. But Quincy was in Jamaica killing some sound differently because I wasn't there, you know. Mm -hmm. I come back to Right. So Quincy was traveling all over, playing all over down the same way with the sound and kill some son and we're not them name not even call and stuff like that you know so then now when you guys went down with quincy now who else had joined the song at that time there now um that was um sam for um um Itman was already there um um theoretical mm -hmm. uh all them like a young you grown quincy was already there Mm -hmm. You understand? Yeah. Yeah, Tirica, I assume name Tirica or something like that. Yeah, man, Tirico, yes. Yeah, so all them was there, mm -hmm. you know? So it was a little group from Sandy Park. Mm -hmm. Yeah, every man from in the surrounding, I right? guess. Yeah. Because at that time there, when the song was just starting to bubble, is when we first heard about Hitman. And Hitman was one of the he was one of the new young firing MCs because there was three of them at that time there. Right. It was Hitman. There was another guy, um, Charlie Black, that was playing Bass Odyssey. And mm -hmm. there was Winter Fresh from um Winter Fresh from Turbo Funny. Mm -hmm. And at that time, those were the three hot, bad, bad song. You understand? Yeah, man. And MCs, not even so bad, bad MCs at that time. Yes. So Gervan was still at Roadstar too. Okay. And then him come over. Yeah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but um, it's a whole heap of different party and, and stuff like that. But as I said, I'm not the party, 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 party. Mm -hmm. It's only when some clash I will go, like the one in Spanish town with Rian Kilimanjaro by Crazy Jim. Tell me about that dancer because I'm pretty sure that's the legendary dancer everybody talks mm -hmm. about. There, tell you me about that dance. You see that dance, that dance. That dance is Ricky Trooper get tricked. He get tricked at that dance because Ricky Trooper coming at the dance say, yo, I'm look at you, that sound from far. Him call with Disco Boy, you know? Okay. Yeah, him call with Disco Boy. So at that time, Trim knows so that we killed one blood and twice in that every them two New Year's. Him, one blood and um, um, Basel and my friend, my Ricky, our friend, Ricky Chup, a good friend. Mm -hmm. So we now decide say we fly Gary from Canada and build some CD. Yeah. If I'm not telling story, I think we is the first one that built 
dub plate on CD uh, and start selling it on the street. Okay. So I I print over a thousand, no, over 10,000 CD mm -hmm. and um, ship it to Jamaica. No, I bring it down to Jamaica. Them, at that time, them charged me 1500 US at, at the airport in Montego Bay to clear it. Because them say we are carrying it to go make money and stuff, which when it was true. So mm -hmm. I pay for it, give Quincy, and we start selling the CD. The CD starts sell all over. The, it's all doubly. You understand? So I think Bass will get the CD you now and give it to Tupac. And them listen to the CD and every tune what they on that CD, Chupa burn it out in the dance. <laughs> yeah. In burn out every tune on that CD, double it in the past. Hmm. You understand? So, so why I'm knowing they know say more high and in the box. <laughs> you understand? So anyway, that was Killer Fierce. Yes. That was Killer Fierce upon the sound them time there and, and um Gerv and uh I forgot Al Pacino. Mm-hmm. Al Pacino, everybody saw Al Pacino now was passing the dub them to Quincy. So Ricky Trooper win the two first round in the party. Mm -hmm. You understand? So we cut a whole patron with that time belly movie was out and stuff like that. So we have a whole heap of plate with them. You understand? But Chupa never knows so we have dub plate, so much dub plate with the movie star them and blah, you know. Mm -hmm. So anyway, I call Quincy down at Jamaica and tell him, say, me need the tune where say Katara killed Jaro in a Spanish town rather than prison over. You know what I mean? I mean, design that tune. I mean, tell him if you do that tune with the artist. I mean, call and say, yo, me lay down in my living room and say, yo, I want that tune. I know, because that tune, I go kill Jarrod tonight, you know. Mm. Yes. So I fly down to Jamaica and me in the party and no man in the party, then no, say, me is a part of the sound of me. At this, you know, the only man them who know like Ian, like um, Roadstar, the yeah. owner of Roadstar. Because most of the man them no know, no know me because I'm not push out myself like that. And the DJ them know who me is and stuff like that. But otherwise, me not open a people face for set. You know what I mean? Stay just stay on home and pack up some holy balik and make man enjoy themselves. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So when we draw that tune, the first two round, Ricky Troop have the party. I'm not going to lie, him, 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 him have the whole dance. Mm -hmm. So when me see me stand up in the dance and see what's going on, he said, no. We can't spend, and you not know, say me, we can't spend certain amount of money and can lose this dance with two pioneers. So, no. So, me call Quincy and tell Quincy, say, Yo, why you do? Mm -hmm. Take the mic from everybody. Don't give nobody to back the mic. You take the mic mm -hmm. and make one boy pass you the dub them. And I tell, me tell him now, say, start empty down the load for him. No worry about nothing. Just start. Just start bone tune. Mm -hmm. So Quincy going and take the advice and start bone tune, bone tune, bone tune, bone tune. And mm -hmm. from that, um, trooper take off his shirt and the dip on one table. <laughs> he come off on the table and say, I know, <laughs> I know every night, Jairo can win that. And he pack up in things and him left. Mm -hmm. And he just come from foreign and he tired. Mm -hmm. After I see the Lord where I come down upon him, he say, I come from foreign and him tired. Yeah. <laughs> But before he was okay, before though, before he was okay when he was, you know, mm -hmm. one with him wickedness. I <laughs> what's going on, wicked. But before, before all this, when Trooper was to come out, whatever back in them days, eh, when he had the bands, Troopers, yes, or oh, him, he was to come run a run at a um thing they come to it from the ball field, run a bull, run a um. On a, the chicken place, Jamaica boilers around this up. Yeah. So I used to run there with them and them no no. That's me is a whole of my time there. You understand? So we did enough dance with Chupa down at Jamaica before me come a friend. You understand? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that answer was a judgment. Me see everybody start running across the, the place and take a lick out one funeral place and take off every re come to up and chupa them box. <laughs> Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, no, that's a that was a big, big, that was a big dance because you see the trick with Cataract. Cataract was a song that had enough music, but at one point, I don't know what had happened where you guys just couldn't always get it together and win. You guys would have the music, you know, but you're not always rapping. No, always like that. some of the time, some of the time when say we lose, Splash is the MC. Mm. You see, the MC go after the next silica and them too hard before the tune. And if you go off a, a selector too hard before the tune, you have to lose the clash. You no know, matter what tune you have a play, you have to lose the clash. You cannot do that. Because they see you as the aggressor. Right. So you have to just ease back and make them go and beat up and then you use, use tune and wait why, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But them, them go off a the, 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 the MC man first. Mm -hmm. And that's what cause a lot of the clash them for lose. You understand? Mm -hmm. So me always tell them, say, no. Nah, Make them come at you. Use the tune. Make the tune talk and then let them give your damn speech and you give them back your speech. You don't start the speech first. Make them give you what they might give you and you put it on back on them. Yeah. You know? Because if you're seen as the aggressor, when things aren't really going your way, you're not going to get through at that point. Yeah. No. No. Because you're going to burn out. Mm -hmm. You understand? So I saw, I saw enough man lose the clash, you know? Yeah, because we are um, Panther there, I think is Philly. Mm -hmm. One of them, one of them, because it's, it's a long time. And we in the dance and we have a clash with them over there. And Panther respond to Quincy years and say, Britain, I'm going to go to hard man, because we don't have no tune for it. You know what I mean? I'm going to try to get Quincy to pass inside. But mm -hmm. the Reverend didn't, <laughs> never had <happened. laughs> not do that. You know, the brave one, I go hard pan him, see him way. Mm -hmm. So, in command, then I whisper and say, yo, nobody tell me for something about that again because the man them from New York will shoot up. <laughs> you understand? So, it was like a mingy, 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 mingy in the dance, you know? Yeah, enough things happen, man. Right there. What's another, because you said you, you weren't at all of them. What's another clash or even juggling dance that sticks out in your mind? Um... Uh, the next one, the next dance is we and um, Squingy again at Texas. One Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. That was another night. Tell us about and that one. Another one down there with we are Mataran. Hold on. Okay, Mataran, I have that in my mind. Tell us about the, the dance with Squingy in Texas. How did that dance go? You see, Squingy was the, was the best um, vice man in that dance. But the tune tell that night. Mm -hmm. You understand? A super goal didn't have the tune for play a week. So we end up kill Squingy on the song. Okay, so Squingy wasn't playing bass how to see this night. He no, was super goal. He was super goal mm -hmm. that night. So we end up Liam Low, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So the next dance now was Mataran. Mm -hmm. You understand? So Mataran now take on face. He never take on Quincy. In, in take on face and start speak some some um, Mexican language mm -hmm. and face. Mm -hmm. You understand? So him kill face now. Him not kill the sound. Him kill face. Cause I'm not about Quincy in the dance. None at all. I just face, 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 face. Everything was face. You understand? So the night they matter and deal with him wicked. Mm. You understand? Yeah. It's not about the tune. It's about the, the vice man, you know? For sure. Yeah. Because, because as I said, when it came to songs, Cataract was not sure the songs at all, boss. Yeah, man. Said. You guys had almost too much tune. That was a problem at one point. Yeah, you, you see what happened? We end up, we end up cut too much dub plate. Mm -hmm. And it was, the box was confusing. Because it's too much tune to play. Because mm -hmm. when we got stewed on, Sorry, some of the time we go stood up, we got 20, 30,000 US dollars in, 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 in music. You understand? Mm -hmm. Them time, Yellow Man, um, Elephant Man, them and Ori Tatla, them and one of them used to stay at certain, certain place, hotel. Mm -hmm. And we used to stay there. So we and them becomes good friends. So we would go to stood and cut a lot of tune with them. You understand? Really? Really? When we meet Elephant Man, them and Kepri Jama, everybody. 
And um, Lexus, because we and Lexus used to ride up and down. Because mm -hmm. even come up here, come spend time and so with me. And, you know, we kick it. Just like two regular person, you know? Okay. So we come up and spend all a month or two months. And we chill out and re, re, re. You understand? So when them down, they know how we really get them gas too. And start cut a whole heap of tune and start play them all over the place. Make them get bust so quick. Mm -hmm. You understand? Because every dance we go, we play Elephant Man, them or Toddler, them and all of them. We come on them and Captain Barky and everybody, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because even when Captain Barky die, him leave from my side. Because I'm and him, and him apart. Yeah. Me was the last man put the money in Captain Barky and when he got to New York. And me was there when he might get the interview, when he, might, when he get the call from Jamaica. For the mm -hmm. end of interview about bun with them again bun and I take back bun. I mean him the right side he might eat some crawfish when mm -hmm. I cook him and I drink some Heineken and you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And him say my guy New York are ray ray ray. Him leave right from my foot. Yeah man. That's so crazy there. Uh -huh. Even somebody like Tony Screw, Downbeat. How did you guys connect? Because I remember hearing a dance, and this was like a three-part cassette these times, where it's pure foundation you guys are playing. But I think there was some link with Tony yes. Screw and Downbeat. Same thing again. And let me see him friend LaSalle. Mm -hmm. I'm link up Downbeat with we. And we, as so comes, we start get tuned from Downbeat. As so comes, we turn good friend with Downbeat. And Downbeat, you get most of the foundation tune. But my cousin now at Jamaica, Fuzzy Jones, he was a studio man, was a, 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 I get all of the tune them. The big, some big tune, he get a lot of big tune. Mm -hmm. Through it. You understand? Yeah, he get a lot of big tune. And then, um, Motto, a next youth from Spanish town, he, he know some big DJ too, so he get a, 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 a whole heap of tune through it. Mm -hmm. And stuff like that. Most of the veteran them, you know, but Fuzzy Jones get a wallet, but it, 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 it big tune them too. He was the one that got a lot of the hardcore. So even like you guys link with all uh, like Bounty Killer at this time, was that through Elephant or it was just a link because you guys are around? No, it was just a, it was a, just a link. Quincy have the link. Yeah, Quincy and them, you know, and through Ori Tadler them and um, Elephant Man them. Yes. So we will call Bounty and Bounty, we do four tune. Cause right now we have bounty killer where nobody never hear yet. Cause we, we buy four and then give it two for free. Mm. In short, two in there. So them two they went give it with us, put them on the dot. Yeah. Still lock up like um mass cover. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. We have we have we have dub we know. Nobody no hear, none at all. Like mm -hmm. dub, all we have them dub they know is like we not put them on the computer and I not yet. You understand? And them and the rhythm the one side and the tune the one side so we can still put them on a new rhythm where they right now and a man thinks they're yes to hear because they never hear them tune there mm -hmm. you understand so was cataract built as a class song or a juggling song no you see cataract built as a as a funny 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 song <laughs> funny <laughs> <laughs> it never built as nothing yeah God, we, we never build the song for say you know what I mean? But when one blood bring all them, them stuff that to your attention, yeah, we just decide, yeah, man, we'll kill off everything, yeah, man. Yeah. And that, that's how it goes, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you remember any other clashes that, again you were at where you heard Quincy or Hitman tell you about? Um, That was um, Mighty Crown. Mighty Crown, I think, is in Florida. Mm-hmm. Yeah, where we have to lay them flat, like lay them flat, flat, flat. You, you, I'm, I'm, let me tell you the truth, man. 90% mm -hmm. of the sound at Jamaica, mm -hmm. we kill all of them sound. Even Stone Love. What, do you mean, what happened with Cataract and Stone? See, what happened now is like, we keep a, we have two dance. Mm -hmm. We have one of foreign, and we have one of Jamaica. Mm -hmm. So we send fierce... What Jamaica and the Makipa dance are Saint Elizabeth. So when we go to Saint Elizabeth, now it's like 
I never know what happened at that dance, but Stone Love said he, he don't want to play with me no more after that dance car was very disrespectful. But it wasn't disrespectful. It's like we go at the dance and the top selector for Stone Love one name. Uh, Slaughter, Slaughter, Rory, Malcolm Rory. X. Rory, they had the dance and Rory and him bring up some speech and blah, blah, blah. So face just deal with it wicked in a country. You know a country, you know what I mean? And I told you there where everybody says Stone Love, Stone Love at all. No, you the have country down in St. Elizabeth. You understand? So man go for tune, man no go for rare, rare, rare and sweet boy thing and you know what I mean? Ragamuffin people, they are country. Mm -hmm. You understand? So when them hear tune a beat and plus, plus them never hear dub play too much. So when them hear them thing, they start drop and stone love down there, it was a, it was a, like a different planet. You understand? Mm -hmm. So we, 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 we never really stone love didn't know how we play with them again. I give you a better joke. Mm -hmm. After we kill Jara Spanish Town that night, we go uh, over the beach. Mm -hmm. And when we go over the beach, we're supposed to play. We get invited to go play over there. So when we go over there, them don't want to play upon Stone Love Sound. After that night, mm -hmm. them start saying, you, you man, the killer sound in the place. We say them deal with Jara we last night and blah, blah, blah. So <laughs> when they... <laughs> When them say that now is like when our turn for play, them no want to get Quincy, them no play. Mm -hmm. But them no want the man in company sound. So anyway, when them say that now, some, you know, I don't know these people from Adams, just come out of the room and say, no, the champion sound have to play. Mm -hmm. Have to play. So someone licked some chat in the year, you know, them going to Jamaica and stuff like that. And as so comes, we get for play panda dance, but me, they are there again, but them don't know who is who. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, man. So that was that, and it seems like you like it that way. You like to be in Chill. the back, yeah. chilling, 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 chilling. Yeah, yeah, man. Big deal because even you brought up their name earlier, Base Odyssey. One time I know Cataract got a wicked kill, it was because of Hitman's moat, mm -hmm. and Squinji Squinji's the one that picked it up. Yes, I told you, I told you before, you have to relax. Mm -hmm. Don't be the aggressor. If you be the aggressor, then you're going to have a problem. Guys, mm -hmm. it's, it's an easy, easy thing for kill a selector, you know. Mm -hmm. But you have to know when for kill a selector, know what time for kill a selector, what hours of the night for kill a selector. Because there are too much dance from me young growing up. Mm. You understand? You know? Too much, too much dance. I mean, watch dance, me put that in my brain. And I see what I go on, you know? You understand how it goes here. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes, and you have certain hours when you know if you kill sound. You understand? Mm -hmm. What time if you draw a certain tune? You know? Yes. For sure. Even you guys are doing your stuff and everything. Why did Hitman decide to leave the song at that time there? You see, it was a little problem, problem, and Hitman now decides to go back to school and becomes a Christian man. Mm -hmm. You understand? But it was some like a, you know, balance because him, I think he did, if it's not, so it go, I think he did want a part of the tune figure play for himself differently, differently. But Quincy wouldn't have that because Quincy is a very strict man when it comes to music. Mm -hmm. Him don't make music straight like that. You understand? Him is a man where like control him things. And that's why him have the sound and be the man for the sound at all time. Mm -hmm. You understand? Because I think, wasn't Quincy and Hitman, they're related like brothers and so yeah, something nephew. like that? Nephew. Mm -hmm. Yeah, them nephew. Mm -hmm. so at that time he left, everything is still going on. So then he left, you guys are still there doing your stuff. How did Juxakilla get involved with the song now? By that part, I not even know, you know, I'm just stay a foreigner one day, I see Juxakilla flying, you know. Mm -hmm. Come a foreigner, you know. I can't tell you how to get you know, who you trial know, mean, whatever, because I didn't question that part. Mm -hmm. All I know, one day they called me and say, yo, select that there, and I say, who? And then when I go to the barber shop, I see him. Mm -hmm. You understand? So when I see him, if I say, I cat that, and blah, 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 you know? Mm -hmm. So when we in the barber shop now, 
me and the man come out of the door and me and him attack. The first thing him, him say he want is a bike. So me I say, well, this man don't know me and this man just boom. The first thing him attack to me about is a bike. Then him say he want me get him a BMW. I feel me him that. So from that day, me not talk to that man until to the day. All you see him there on the sound, me never say a word to him. Never take up the phone and call him. Yeah. But him don't know say me know him from Jamaica. You understand? Mm -hmm. He don't know say me know him from Jamaica. Because travelers used to come play at my place every Thursday night. Not say my place. Mm -hmm. The place where we was, you know? Yeah. Every Thursday night they used to come. Not say every Thursday. They, they have them time when they come. But we used to have it every Thursday night. Yeah. So when him said that to me, 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 me never put him for nothing. So when... When we start sending money to Jamaica now for cut tune, him start cut a tune them in a fame name. So me call Quincy and say, no, don't make him go back to the studio go cut no more tune. Mm -hmm. Because the tune them, why am I cut him? I cook, cut them juicy killer, this juicy killer, that juicy killer. So him end up take time to build a thing for himself and a quiet. So me find out the rate and cast to me is a man in the background now. Me not me know in the ray, ray, ray and jump up, jump up. So me in the background and I watch everything what's going on. So me call Quincy and tell him, say, don't make him cut no more tune. You understand? Because if you have a selector by here soon, and him a cut the tune, them in a theme name. Theme name. Him now cut them, say, cataract, cataract, bling, bling, bling. Then him we cut a one or two, like a little small man, with cataract name and theme name, but most of the big tune in a theme name. So I'm a bill a thing and I quiet. Hmm. You know? So that's the only tie me have with him. Me never talk to him nor... You know, correspond with him now. He can't call me and say cat, blah blah blah. He can't call me because he was not in South for a long time, though. No, almost a year or something like that. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, yeah, it was just one of those situations where it didn't really work out, right? Yeah. I mean, they didn't say now go work out, work out because if a man just meet you and he want a motorbike and he want a BMW car, right away, you know, say something all right. You understand? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You so, came to play so not to get things. Right. You build yourself mm -hmm. and prove yourself. And then if something for come behind, it come behind you. Understand? Mm -hmm. Because at the same time, you're going to get paid. But if we rate you and stuff, there is no problem for make you have nice roll around, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You're right. Doing your stuff. Cataract is doing their stuff. But I know there was one time. When cataract really slowed down, it's because some of the people that was involved with cataract got into some issues at one point there. Yeah, it, it, it's not that why the sound slowed down, you know. Mm -hmm. That part is not that part is not that's why. It's because you see what happened now is like too much like a mix up was going on and too much select and in and out and right, right, right. Mm -hmm. So kind of just sit back and say, yo, Quincy, go and run the sound and do what you want to do, yeah. Man. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But then it becomes too much layback. It's not, it's not nobody. You know what I mean? It, it becomes layback. Yeah. You understand? So Quincy, we go play there and then play there and then DJ and then that there. So it's a layback thing. Yeah, it's, it, it was no problem, like no vibes, no nothing. It's just too much layback. And why, why, why the song becomes lay back now is because some of the promoter. Because we can go out and spend 20,000 or 30,000 or 15,000 or 5,000 go cut tune. And then when we ready for play now, you want to tell we say a, a 2,000, you have to give you or a 3,000, you have to give you. When you appear the next man, you get 7,000, 9,000 to come and dance. Hmm. You understand? And the same clash and the same thing, you can't say that. Like Chin now, one of the big, the, the, the big clash where we have to play in a, in a, in a world clash and everything there. At $2,500, I might try half a week. At this time, was Cataract the big song at this time when they yeah, made them? Champion sound, man. I kill off everything, man. Mm -hmm. Champion sound, man. You understand? But them blame, them blame everything. Pan Juxi said Juxi this and Juxi that. It wasn't about Juxi, Juxi this and Juxi that. It was the money that income and half a you understand? Mm -hmm. We are gonna spend 30 now for your sound clash and you tell me say you give it 25 on there. It is disrespectful, man. 
so what do you think when the, next, been, when the bigger man get 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 into it all right mm-hmm. so what do you think would have been a better price for that because clearly you can't if you're cutting twenty thirty thousand dollars in songs as a promoter he can't pay you that type of money so no, would have been but more at the time we was playing for five thousand six thousand dollars a night in every dance that we go mm-hmm. u.s dollar we're not talking about jamaican money we're talking about u.s dollars mm-hmm. every dance we go if you don't have your five thousand or your six thousand we're not coming mm-hmm. you understand and we are travel go everywhere atlanta new york everywhere everywhere with it england with it everywhere you understand everywhere you can think of the sound we on um we on radigan play a boston and when we're done with Radi- Ra- radigan you, you yeah i think it's still on the internet mm-hmm. radigan look on quincy say i salute you mm-hmm. yeah man when we draw the marcia griffiths and babandi and the man the him, 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 him salute us that night yeah but a lot of a lot of things a lot of fans doesn't know all of them thing yeah, and they select them and stuff like that but it was no vibe why we stop clash so on our boat and then the class that died on a little bit little bit mm-hmm. and then the association come in sorry and say we can't clash against certain zone if them not ready star and stuff like that and we and louise did sign this sign up for the you know what i mean so louise yeah. will call us and say yo we want you to play in New York because the next one, if you go drop out, so you know available. Can you know so we're there foreign already? Okay. Um, I mean, she know we in America. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yes. So it's, it it was a lot of little undercover stuff was going on, and but the promoter them is the problem. Mm-hmm. So you even with uh with a world clash because you guys said you guys were approaching just the money wasn't right. So even if you were offered. The five thousand, you would have, you would have, you guys would have done it at that time. Barry. Yeah, man, because you, you're why would I go now? Because it's not about the money. Mm-hmm. It's about re- reaching the goal. You know what I mean? Yes, it's not about the money. The money was no problem. Mm-hmm. We could have even go for the twenty five hundred dollar. We we could have even go for free too, mm-hmm. if it did come up, come to us the right way. Okay, so it was really more or less the approach that you yes, didn't really like. Disrespectful. Mm-hmm. Yes, very disrespectful. That was a, a, you know, I mean, it's like a big diss right there. Mm-hmm. Like you know, no work, nothing. Yeah, 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 yeah. You understand? Yes, it it's business. And you said that you guys, you guys spent a lot of money on the song and all. Do you ever look back and say, you know what? I really regret spending all this money in Dublin. No man, no man, because you see, the song is still there, so the money is still there. If the song did mash up, no one. Gone all over, then would I say, Well, why I'm mad enough? Mm-hmm. You shouldn't spend the money, you know, but the, the sound is still there, the tune is still there. Mm-hmm. You understand? So, we don't regret nothing at all. Mm-hmm. We still have tune. I have tune here sitting down up here, same way. Tune there, Florida, same way. Tune there, Jamaica, same way. So, it's tune, lot of tune. Yeah. If you look, see, we have sound sit down right there, sound over there, everything, same way. <laughs> you see when you love something you just love something right. much yeah man because i have a song too you know i have another big song but them broke on my club and tv the song 72 speaker three rocker arms them breaking and tv the song but i know where the song is but i'm not gonna say nothing mm-hmm. i just keep my peace with that one yeah that's yeah. crazy. So then now when, when we seen that at that time, it was pretty obvious that the song slowed down. What was Quincy or the rest of the man them doing all this time here now? No, he saw never sit down. Quincy play all the time. Mm-hmm. But he mostly play in a country. Mm-hmm. You understand? Quincy will left town sometime. I mean, I'll go back till Sunday night or Monday morning. The song always playing is just when the corona come in now. But the sound always play. Travel, come a foreign and play. Same way. We play a Fort Lauderdale. All them play same way. We go to New York. We go clash at New York. At Albany Manor. Mm-hmm. We call all them places. But, you know, it's sound, it's sound still play. We still play all over, man. <laughs> Him just come back from Dubai. From Dubai? Yeah, man. Mm-hmm. Last month, he played at Dubai. 
um new last year new year's eve it man go alaska alaska yeah man i see place man <laughs> <laughs> yeah man yeah sound still play man you you know what it is it's a lot of time you remember at one point we get in a lot of cassettes and a lot of DVDs and CDs from Jamaica in the clashes and juggle and stuff. But a lot of people forget that this world is a really big world, you know, boss. And yep. there's a lot of places where people still want to hear music, whether it's juggling clash or whatever it is. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. Yes. But the, we, 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 we still play music every day, every day. Mm -hmm. The sound still shine and pretty same way, you know? Yeah. Anytime they're ready, anytime then when anybody ready and want it, want a clash or anything. Yeah. And they have them right money. Mm -hmm. Then they can call us. Yeah. Okay, so you're still juggling and still willing to clash. Yeah, man. Anybody anybody at all, man. We're not afraid of nobody. Mm -hmm. Cataract boss. Yeah, we will send all a little baby selector see and we have to go clash them, bro. <laughs> man, we have to put the two never money third game with you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah <man. laughs> Crazy. Cause cause this is what really even brought us here right now because when this airs everybody will know a lot of people couple people in the industry heard the rumbling and stuff but right now quincy passed right suddenly yes. a couple nights ago what yeah, happened man, there, he shocked the whole world and shocked everybody all me right now me on the live with you me not even mm -hmm. 200 in my head you know yeah it's rough mm -hmm. rough year that was he sick or this was something that just happened? No, it just happened. I, I talked to him. I talked to him Friday. Mm -hmm. And the receptionist was reception didn't, you know, couldn't pick up the phone and stuff like that. So because he was traveling in the mountains. Mm -hmm. So he said when he reached and the flat thing would call me back. So I called him back again and then he said, I will soon call him back because I string up his own. I reach a country. So he soon called me back. So anyway. You know that died on and him left a voice note saying we call me Monday or one of them day, one of them did. So it's like him go a country down a high fashion them, you would see him way down a gear them. Because of this, so the sound started from the sound started from high fashion them and ended with him pan high fashion them. Crazy. You understand? Mm -hmm. So I'm down there now. Sorry, play the song Saturday, play Friday, and Sunday night him go back and go play again. And he never feel too good. So they rush him to the hospital and about 12 o'clock in the night, he pass out. He just drop off, you know, mm -hmm. the stool, you know. Yeah. Sad and wicked, you know. But it has burned up everybody's chest right now. Trust me. Yeah, you, you know, know what I mean? Wicked, wicked story, you know. Where, especially when it's so sudden. and you Yeah, man. I, I'm an arty, arty live and... That are wicked, you know, yeah. still play the dance and their dance, but he never feel, he never sick. Mm -hmm. He never sick. Um, so I think when he go to the doctor, they said his blood pressure dropped too low. Mm. And, and you know, down in the country, the hospital, they have no equipment and stuff. We, you know, build up fast enough so mm -hmm. he pass out, you know. Do you have any special memories with Quincy? Either a conversation you had, something he did, something in particular that you'll remember for the rest of your life? Man, everything we ever remember, man. Mm -hmm. That one thing, that because you see, most of the time, you know, Quincy used to spend most of the time with me more than anybody else, you know. Mm -hmm. Because Quincy would come up one day after five months with me and work, in, work with me, see him weird, because. He means a restaurant man, you know, he loved it, he loved the restaurant, you know. And he okay. come and, and stay with me at work. We will left him gone anyway. We will fly a further and left him and I run the whole kitchen and run the whole business. Mm -hmm. So it's like Quincy is not only a selector for his own, Quincy is a family. Like we come like we are brother and them thing there. Mm -hmm. When it comes to the it's not about the music and the sound. It becomes a family, you know. You understand what I'm mm -hmm. Yes. More time we have a little argument and stuff like that. You know what you know what them think about it, you know? That's what family family argues yes. and get back. Yes. But yeah, man. Mm -hmm. My brother that is see him here too. You understand? Mm -hmm. It's like, yeah, family, family. Mm -hmm. Did they start making any arrangements or anything for him, or that's too soon right now? No, not really. You know, I, I think that today tonight should say, cause I talked to um 
one of the selectors yesterday and I talked to his nephew today. Mm -hmm. So them said they're gonna start a little thing. I think tonight they're gonna take out a part of the sound and string up and start play some music and do some things. So when I get off this thing now, I'm gonna give them a call and see if them start. Mm -hmm. you know? And then everybody can go through and pass through and show them love. You see it? Got you. Where does this leave the song now? Because remember, Quincy was the, the main selector on the song. He was actually stringing up. He was mentoring everybody else that was around us. So where does this leave Cataract right now? Yeah, the, right now the song just sit down. So when we, when when everything settled down, cause right now, now you know the song thing with, you know what I mean? So on the one side, go sit down, you know? Mm -hmm. I think about the body and the everything and the remembrance and the morning and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So right now, you know, we not think about no sound and you understand when when everything settled down, then we decide what we are gonna do. Mm -hmm. But the sound are gonna still still roll. You understand? Yeah. Yes. So we just have to make it in a the right man hand and continue. You understand? Mm -hmm. until from there but as you said you're right because right now you're not thinking about no song and all those stuff no, no no so no not mm -hmm. like that yeah so on those park and lock up and then go play a tune when theme thing and everything and then you know after everything settled down then we, we we think about you know definitely yeah man that's really a sad situation especially yeah. just to hear in time now mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah you got the whole strong still. Mm -hmm. You understand? That's why when 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 I got the call, I jumped at the opportunity. I said, you know what? If there's anybody I would really love to talk to, it would yeah. be Kat from Catrack. I've never seen you, heard no, you man. talk or anything. No oh, man, me not did talk for years, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, man, I mean I go right back from the country. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Definitely. If after when everything passes and all this, if they wanted to book the song or anything, you have any contact information or any info out there where they could get in contact with whoever's booking the song? Yeah, man. Um, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, let me see. Mm -hmm. Let me give them um, the selector number, uh, um, Florida. Mm -hmm. uh, let me pull it up right now. It's um, 954. Two nine six thirty four fifty one. As um Desmond, mm -hmm. him, him have the part of the song in Florida. Mm -hmm. Yes, so if a man want a date for book anywhere, them can call for him phone number. Mm -hmm. For now, but we not take no date right now. But no nothing. Yeah, no date. It's just after when they oh, when right. they start to move Everything again. Done. When I. No one don't call right now about no song, no date, no nothing. Everything just lock off. Mm -hmm. Get that. Right now, you're you're in your place of business. Is it a restaurant, a club? Exactly what is it? Yeah, man, it's a it's a restaurant um slash bar, you know. Mm -hmm. So we we play music every weekend, like four nights out of the week, seeing where we do live bands, you know. Mm -hmm. And also I I I I used to promote a lot of show because I bring almost the whole of the artists them to Milwaukee. Okay. Yeah, man. From Barry Samuel, King Yellow Man, Elephant Man, everyone, Bounty, yeah, Kipridge, everybody, Cabra, everybody, Beanie Man, everybody. Yeah, I bring all of them. Merciless. And Merciless come up and stay with me for years and weeks. But that fact, let me tell you something. Mm -hmm. When Trevor Sparks, Trevor Sparks lived with me for three years. What? That Trevor Sparks have the same thing, the same diabetes. So Trevor Sparks lived with me for three years. When mm -hmm. Trevor Sparks come amongst me, Trevor Sparks not eat meat. Mm -hmm. And when we start feed Trevor Sparks and everything, he start eat chicken. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. Yeah. And him leave, him leave and go to Chicago to a show up for um Bujo. Bujo the down there, so him go down there with a show up and they on the freeway and got an accident. And broke up in two foot them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, broke up in foot them. That's in foot them. In can't stand up straight in my bow leg after they done with him. You understand? Yeah, him live with me for a long time. Three years. Trevor Sparks live with me, living in my house with me when him come from New York. I mean, come live with. Yeah. Yeah, man. Enough man don't know that. Enough mm -hmm. people down at Jamaica, enough big artists don't know say me, Trevor Sparks live with. 
Mm-hmm. No clue. Had no idea. Yeah, man. I mean, live with man for three years straight. Trevor Sparks live with me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's big. But I could understand how you think. No, you're a you're a real businessman. That's why even when you don't mind cutting all the dubs, because you're also gonna do business with them, promote shows. So if you spent the twenty thousand in dubs, it's okay. That's an investment yeah. into what you're gonna do later on. Yeah, man, cause it tune them still today. If a man did mash up the two now and and wreck everything, now it would be a problem, it would be a loss. Mm-hmm. But everything is still sit down there already. Yeah. Yes. Ready, man. Ready, 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 ready. Yeah. You know? Trust me. Father Cat. Yes, man. Thank you so much for sitting down and doing this today. You know what I mean? Man, respect, man. <laughs> you know respect, what I mean? Respect. And we will talk again. For sure. I'm going to come back and kill some more. So, you know, after we yeah. split everything, I make Quincy rest in peace and booms. Nice and sweet, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we can look out for Cataract on the battlefield in 2022 yeah, 2023 man. anytime anytime any it's already man that's we have something we have some things and you know we are gonna deal with yeah yeah all right, right now you can look over there i buy three laptop to send to quincy quincy supposed to you know yeah, that's why i call him friday because the laptop them supposed to go to jamaica yeah to spread out the the, 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 the selector them Mm-hmm. You understand? So I buy three of them for send go give him for him to give it to the DJ them so we could have played three places at Jamaica one night at the party just start back. So mm-hmm. when we're just ready to start the roll again. Mm. Oh boy, I saw you going on. What Jagger send for you can't keep it back, you see it. You understand. Yeah, man. Can't yeah, keep man. it back, you know. Big, big, big father cat. Yes. Thank you so much. Let me give you an outro and get you out there because this exclusive conversation with this mystery man that we hear about, but we've never seen, has been an epic, great conversation. Thank you so much. Respect here. You understand. All right, let me give you an outro. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is Muscle, and this has been another Two Line Music Huts Entertainment Report podcast, and we are out. Right. Yeah, man, respect. Big up respect. to friends, them, you know, and show most respect to Quincy, you know? Yeah, man. All right, Baba. Thank you, Mr. Cat. All right. Take care. Yes, sir. All right. Respect. Bob. This podcast is brought to you by www.twolinedmusica.com. <laughs>